one of my big motivations for teaching these classes is to share the information that I have and learn from other people who are working in, in the medium of cast glass. I think it's a very exciting medium for contemporary art and I'd love to see more work done in this area. While I was an undergraduate student, I received a scholarship to go to the Pilchuck Glass School. And one of the classes was with Stanislav Lubinsky and Jaroslava Brektova, who are two of the iconic uh, leaders in, in cast glass. And I was really overwhelmed with the potential of this material as a sculptural medium. Uh, so it took me a few years to develop my own voice as a maker, but I was really interested in the potential of cast glass and ex was experimenting that with those techniques in graduate school and ultimately after leaving graduate school focused full time on cast glass as a medium. Other casting materials have a, a great uh, you know, ability to occupy space but glass has the unique ability to let light through it and illuminate space and illuminate the object and I find just those properties very intriguing and engaging. Casting is really uh, attracting a lot of attention. All my classes are full when I teach these short courses. People are really interested in cast glass techniques and also cold working, how to shape and manipulate the glass once it's out of the kiln. Students come from a range of different backgrounds, so it's really important to be able to adjust the class to meet their needs. And so we want to challenge them uh, but at the same time bring them along so they can understand the information. So I generally break the class down into a series of one-on-one -on -one discussions and also some group lectures to allow the students to be able to slot into and capture the information that they need. They learn that additive process of cast glass but then they also learn the subtractive process of, of carving and shaping glass. I think I, I try and listen to what the students want. I start each class by saying, what do you want? Why did you come here? Why did you pay all this money and come all this way to do this course? And I try and I do that as a way of trying to understand their expectation and what they want out of this uh, program. So I learn a lot by watching the students think through their, um, their own questions about their work. And I've actually, you know, whether it's technically or conceptually, that uh, someone will offer an insight through a discussion or through something that they attempt in the studio, um, I'll see a new possibility. So I learn often as much as I give. Yeah, it's wonderful to watch the student take um, what you can offer and then apply it to their own uh, ideas and really experiment, subvert and develop their own voice as a maker. You've got to love your work. If, if you don't love your work, then you wouldn't do it. It's a seven day a week concern because I love what I do. One of the great things about teaching in Corning is the opportunity to work with the, the museum, which is just over the road. It's a wonderful support to teaching about methodology, how to think through artworks and reflect on what other artists have done. It's not just about how to do something, it's how you apply it and how you think that through your practice.